Hi, and warm welcome to a Quantum Astrology Report with me, Eva Christofferson, for the period 17, 18, and 19 of May 2018. The Sun will be at the end of Taurus in, connect, in connection, conjunction with the Pleiades. And we had that magic new moon felt and with solar flares. And we have a uh, moon at the end of Gemini now, conjunct Venus first and then going into Cancer and traveling through Cancer this period. Uh, so for this period, I want to draw a moon, 17 to 19th of May. It's a lot of star seed activation, a lot of twin flame activation. These days, this period. And this one is this, and that's, um, mm, let's see. In the Swedish version, I got Tivas Tor, the soul warrior, the name of my channel. But here, in the English, I take, this one, oh, it's Algis, splendid, it's the Elsh, Algis, and that's the, the Elk rune, or the Spirit rune. It uh, shows the hard way to go when you travel this inner road to free yourself. And in uh, when it comes up, symbolize uh, that you, I perhaps has difficulties to choose between two ways or to solve a difficult situation. Algis tells us that we can uh, we can uh, evolve our intuition, our inspiration, our inner wisdom to find new solutions, new possibilities, the quantum creation. So that was interesting. And then we have a quantum tarot card, eight cards for this. And this one is number 10, number 10. That's a one, that's a new beginning. In numerology, you take one, add zero, and then you get one. Pioneer, the leader. And in this tarot with quantum physics, this one, number 10, is, huh, it's the wheel of fortune, it's quantum mechanics, the quantum world, when we cre create our fortune from within. Uh, it represents the cycles of chances, timing is all. Be prepared when the wheel turns in your favor. What opportunity is spinning in your direction? What opportunity is spinning in your direction? Yeah. That was very interesting. Thank you. So, we go to, to see uh, the energies. So oh, first I want to share, it has been so much ongoing, the new moon of course, all that energy and solar flash coming in with a lot of activation to free ourselves. And I, I all, all the way since I went into pension, the 1st of April, I've been so tired, but I, I recovered. 
now the last week but i had so much to process in me about the old world of living with the job and with all that uh, and it was a wonderful job but it was time for me to leave to come into the new world in me step by step stepping out of the old matrix and i still i i had been stressed because i thought i had expectations that gives uh, problems i had expectation that when i get into pension i can find time for everything and i can i can really both do a lot and relax but i have so much to do do but i realized also yes the last days especially yes that, that i had a stress in me to finish my i have some 3D small works to do, and I also have uh, Starseed reports to do. But I had this stress about, I, I thought I have to be finished this now and in time, and, to, and it was a stress in me. And then I had to switch my perception deeply in me to take, create my time. My time is when I do my own relaxation in the process and the other work not because of others um, expectation because of the inner i am in and i i have this small channel i'm so grateful that you listen and and uh, what I, I really want to share is my personal view and also what it, how it affects my life in step by step but this is my view you have your view the quantum mechanics to create from within and then in connect in connection with all and we as starseed and twin flames we have this opportunity to to create the dreams with vibration from within that's why we are here so we need to all of us and all who wants to step into the new fifth dimensional world first fourth dimensional some years and then the fifth dimensional unconditional love the third dimension is the flesh shoot the room time in fourth dimension there's no uh, time it's the etheric world you can do astral travels and the fifth dimension is the unconditional love um, that we really long for. So, uh, uh, mm, I had to take a deep break and change my old matrix. And that's what we have the opportunity and the challenging to do. And all of us need to do it in our own way. I, for example, went to gym today. It was wonderful to train. And you, you will find your way to train your body. That's Taurus, Uranus in, in Taurus, and also Mercury there, and Sun. To take care of your body in connection with that. The food, all you take in, but also what you do with your body, how you find yoga or stretching or meditation or anything. It has to be individual. So you have to build, I have to build my, our own truth of love. And how we, how we learn to create is that individual step. So I hope I can remind you and inspire you to do this in your way. Mm. Uh, then we'll see about the energies. So we have this, uh, the 17th of May, in the evening here in Sweden, 8 p.m. 18. We have Venus directly conjunct Moon in, in, in the end of Gemini. Uh, still at the Orion's belt, but also at the pole star, Polaris. Uh, and it, it moon has traveled since the new moon moon has traveled all the way here and sun now at the end of, of Taurus is at the fixed star 
algal, exact in process, the unicorn energy. Uh, free divine sexuality, that's an example of that energy. And then sun is soon coming directly on Pleiades. Moon already traveled first, Venus traveled here, and Isis, and then and Osiris, and then the moon came, and now the sun will come, and then Mercury will come over. So it's a big activation of this star of life band from the stars, this uh, Pleiades, Hyades, Aldebrand, the royal fixed to Aldebrand, and the opposition, Antares. Uh, we have the Orion, all this, these important, very important to heal us where the new moon was. And now, this moon, Venus, emotional, feminine, love connection with Pallas Athena, the divine feminine warrior, goddess, and Isis, the divine feminine queen, here, is in conjunction with the fixed star Bittle guys. Uh, one of the biggest, because it will be a supernova soon. Uh, we don't know when, but it can already have been happening in our three-dimensional time. And it's giving so much magnetic influx to Earth, Bitter guys. It was the home for the light come still in the Orion wall, Wars, and Regal here uh, was the home for the Dark Council. And it has been an occupation here of the drag, from the Dracos, the reptiles of the Orion constellation, from the Orion Wars. And now we heal everything, we shine a light on everything, we bring everything in divine intervention from the Galactic Federation of Light to heal, to shine the light on. Because the kidnapping on Earth is also connected with this, because the kidnappers, the Illuminati, the mind controllers, are in the fourth dimension and they can't transcend to the fifth dimension. So they are desperate to keep people on earth in the third dimensional fear vibration. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so this is a great, great <coughs> activation time for star seeds and also for twin flames. <coughs> Because we have, <coughs> uh, we have here uh, Mars going into Aquarius, and we have Uranus in in beginning of Taurus, zero point energy for both. And uh, Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius, and that Uranus is a very powerful electromagnetic. <sighs> energy that really brings now Earth to be in love. Everything not in that vibration will be revealed and upheaved and processed. <coughs> and Mars is the divine masculine energy, active, uh, taking steps, uh, powerful, that has been very misused, but we now to find it in balance with Venus, and it's an inconjunct 150 degree aspect here to this powerful moon, Venus, uh, etc. conjunction with Mars, and it's uh, giving this opportunity to bring the divine masculine divine feminine together and finally rise the divine feminine strong energy because it's so much still considered to be not feminine to be strong and powerful that's totally a misunderstanding the great con con connection with the divine, with love, with earth, with everything that f the divine feminine represents. That's the ultimate power. 
That's why it has been suppressed, because with this love power we can transcend and go into the new age of Aquarius. <clears throat> That's the ascension. So, this, and this also is a, a twin flame coming together, and Mars going into the quantum room of uh, Aquarius, we had the quantum mechanics card in my tarot here. So Aquarius and Uranus, that's the quantum room, that is everything with infinite possibilities to create love, to create this, con con <laughs> this connection within with, between the male and feminine parts in us. And it's also very independent, and it's extreme freedom here. When you are a true Aquarian, you are free. Free of expectation, free of others, free of judging. You are just so original, so you're, you're individually yourself. Yeah. And it's air, but it's more the space inside and outside the quantum room. So here we have a twin flame activation, and I have been contacted by my twin flame. And uh, it's great times. We have also Black Moon Lilith in conjunction with Pluto. I have to speak a little about that part. Because we as star seeds and many star seeds, I believe, are twin flames. And I have resistance against twin flames because I, I just saw karma flames with my as earlier. And that's very, very good. Karma flames is perfect. For example, my um, divorces has really helped me to find myself, to evolve in myself. Uh, and then I listened to Aluna Ash and then I was contacted uh, by my twin flame and we have connected and I have learned so far that it's a huge force of love and it's uh, different very different and and i want to show it in my way with this star seeds we have how can you see how can you you can feel you need to go within and feel and trust your intuition that's of course your always your primary uh, truth uh, but also you can see numbers numbers are very important in this time because they're coming up 111 333 and for important for twin flames but especially 144 144 or 441 or 414 um, for example me and, and my twin flame helped the other to uh, <laughs> to see that the moon when it came into areas the time here in Sweden was 1441 1441 when the moon was at zero degrees of areas the start of everything emotional start of everything and this 144 it's 12 divided <laughs> not divide 12 multiplied with 12 and it's this star seed or red gem that 1000 oversouls fractaled out first into 12 and then into 12 again so you get 144 thousand souls here on earth coming from uh, this intervention from higher vibration to help ascend this earth. And that makes sense also for the twin flames because uh, when you are in fifth dimension or higher you are one unit love and still can be separate but you are so connected so you are one not harming anyone etc living in peace and abundance and love. It, that's the future for Earth, and it's close, it's close now. And then, you, according to Aluna Ash and others, 
Alunas, I recommended the DNA activation if you want to check for twin flames. Uh, here, fifth dimensional or higher, uh, divide into two souls. They are still fully souls, but they integrate into one oversoul when, when they come together. They come here as a masculine feminine, as an electric magnetic, as polarities, dualities, very different to become a unity when they are connected. And why? It's because when this happens, this will help Earth to ascend. And uh, so what you should look for is differences. Complementary, for example, Aries and Gemini, or Taurus and Cancer, or oppositions, for example, Gemini and Sagittarius, that really will, it, and it won't be at all this cuddly cuddly. I, yeah, I hope it will be a lot of cuddly cuddly, <laughs> but it will also be a lot of challenges. It's a lot of evolution because when you meet your, your twin plane, Everything is a mirror of yourself, so you will be mirrored the parts that you haven't integrated. And this will give a huge force of attraction and also a great expansion to more rapidly ascend. So that's the way it is. And I'm very happy for this, my Twin Flame connection. and. Uh, it's uh, wonderful and challenging. Now, we, I want to show also mm, the 19th. I will take the 20th. It's, it's great energies for starseed activation and for twin flame activation these days. And so Alun Ash says the next twin flame activation will be between 20 to 25th. Uh, I, I, my feeling is that it's, it's time now, it's spring and it's blooming. You see I'm sitting out in my, in my beautiful garden and it's really time for, for the star seed activation and for the twin flame activation in big scale on Earth. And the 19 uh, we have here in, here in Sweden, in the afternoon, 3.20 p.m., uh, we have Venus going into Cancer. Uh, here, zero, zero degrees of Cancer. Venus going from the area flexible uh, interconnection between Heaven and Earth alchemy, Gemini, into Cancer, the nurturing home of the Moon, of our emotions, of our feelings. And this is the love planet that goes before in the activation and then comes the rest, the sun and uh, Mercury and later Mars will come over this again. Because it's a big star brand of life here with star origins. So Venus here will be much more emotional now, much more intuitive the love and it's uh, coming up to an opposition to Saturn to give a possibility to integrate and test your spiritual integrity and to manifest your your love and the moon the 19th here is in opposition to Pluto and Black Moon Lilith and Pluto is in this magical degree of uh, the creation of humans in this Milky Way, 21 degrees of uh, Capricorn. And Saturn is retrograde. And we have, of course, Uranus in a very, very uh, close uh, quadrat to square, it's called, sorry. <laughs> it's not quadrat. <laughs> I'm, I was teaching mathematics, <laughs> I'm relaxing. <laughs> it is a square, of course, an inner challenge to really evolve this divine masculine that will be so much 
power going into and moon coming up to an opposition here soon. So much energy, electromagnetic healing from Uranus in zero degrees of Taurus to free the divine masculine in us, in every one of us. And soon Mars will go over the south node and that's also a lot of star seed twin flame activation and it's already in conjunction in in energy connection with the south node our collective origin here right now that we get energy from this in aquarius so uh, we have at this time a grand trine between moon neptune and jupiter and we also have an interesting on the, that grand trine is very it's only that day the 19th but we have for from now the 17th to a week uh, at least a finger of god between the north node our lightning illumination in leo collective stepping into the royal quality of the leo in uh, power sextile to Osiris, the Egyptian underworld king. The queen was Isis, Osiris, the ruler of Scorpio together with Mars and Pluto. And these two are in conjunct to Saturn. And it's close in degrees, you see, eight degrees, eight degrees, and eight degrees. And I use Osiris and Isis and, and Mercury taught a lot because they mean a lot. I have a lot of that in my connection in my individual shot and Here it's about to the outlet is Saturn to manifest this Royal Leo and this Gemini and it's Aldebaran. It's the Buddha star. It's the Archangel Michael this energy Osiris is channeling here down to Earth to Saturn retrograde here so it's a beautiful energy coming down from Aldebaran to Earth to Saturn with help of the North Node, the finger of God for these days. And with that message, I will end and I continue my travel into myself. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being yourself. Bye bye.